Get down and give me 20. Tutorial watcher. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Um, and <laughs> and today we're in uh, we're in 2.8 once again, taking a look at how to create a bunch of different uh, military camo materials. I thought this would be pretty cool because it's extremely simple. You can see over here on the left hand side in the shader editor editor, uh, formerly known as the Node Editor. Uh, we have a Musgrave texture, a color ramp, and of course the principal BSDF. I just literally just shift A, search, Musgrave texture, uh, and then we go shift A, search, color ramp, and then we just grab both of them and put them in the scene. I have, uh, I have some colors here on the color ramp before we hook anything up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at these colors. This hex value is, ooh, this hex value for the first is 7BA45C. And I just pretty much, this was black and white. If I go ahead and do this uh, from the original node, it was black and white. So you just uh, click one of these, ooh, click one of these little dial buttons here that you can scroll back and forth. And uh, down here, you can change what color it is. So you can change this to pink, and then you can change this one to like. Uh, blue and now you have a gradient from blue to pink which is pretty cool so that's what I did down here I have a lighter green and then for the darker green color this hex value is 537A45 which is pretty cool so I just hooked that up into the color I hooked the color up into the base color of the principal BSDF shader and you can see we don't have much going on here um, which is which is fine, but uh, this is where the uh, Musgrave texture comes in. We go ahead and hook this color into the uh, into the color ramp node, and now we have something that looks like this. Now the default Musgrave texture does not will not look like this. The default Musgrave texture will look something like this. You can see the difference in numbers up here. If I plug this in, it's not going to look as great. It's going to look like that. So the way I got to this bad boy down here this is what we want to get to. This is what we have. Um, so I changed the scale to uh, somewhere around 14, the detail all the way up to 16, the dimension all the way up to 150, and this guy up to 0.980, and uh, the offset and the gain were left alone. So that is, uh, that's pretty much what I did for that camo texture right there, and if you want to modify this, you can easily modify it, let me get rid of this one, uh, you can easily modify it by just literally changing the color. I'm gonna hit Shift D, Shift D to duplicate our um, our uh, 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 sphere, and hit Z to move it straight up on the Z axis. G Z to move it up some more. Um, what I'm gonna do, actually, you know, we'll move them next to each other instead. That's silly. Why would I do that? Uh, Shift D, G Y. There we go. That's better. So now we got two of these guys, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, hit this four for this material right here to duplicate the material. And we can change these colors. I can change it to a maybe a snow material, maybe like a uh, snow camo. So we'll just go with like a gray, maybe slightly blue. And on this side, we'll do the same thing, but just a bit darker. Yeah, like a snow camo. And then Shift D once again, G Y. Move it this side, maybe. And maybe we'll do a desert camo. I hit two right there to duplicate the material. Like a desert camo, maybe something like. Uh, like that for the green and then maybe a little bit of yellow right looks pretty cool it's not dark enough not green enough yeah something like that maybe a little little deserty yeah that's better that's better there we go so that's that's it's a really simple way of creating a bunch of different uh, camo materials with that musgrave texture it's really really pretty cool if we zoom in here you can take a look at them we get rid of this bad boy and also this bad boy you can take a look at those. It just looks so uh, so great. I love those. They're very simple, very simplistic, uh, uh, minimalistic textures. I love them. Very clean, edged, very nice. Um, I love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.